I'm gonna show you in here. This is the dinner setting ready for tonight. Literally incredible. Oh nice, it's even got our menu down. What are we having? Partridge, beef, and then the chocolate fondant. Make sure we can get to our room up here. This place is just the absolute bomb. This is us, number four. Cute. And the little bathroom. Oh, look at this window though. Love it. I'm literally just about to upload a video on YouTube. So that's why the laptop's out. Just need to finish editing and then we're back up and running. For joining us. Um, lads, uh, this day means so much to me uh, tomorrow and tonight also. So I hope we all really enjoy it. And this is my dad's actual 60th birthday present. Woo! What we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. May the inches of friendship never rust. Amen. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. Right, cheers, Jim. Cheers, Jerome. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Steph, give us a review on the, uh, the starter. You sell the car, sir. We've had a lot of starters over the years. Yeah. This is up there, mate. Yeah. This is straight out of the field, into the pan, onto the table. Vamoosh. Vamoosh. Straight out of the room, Phil, yeah? <laughs> you are. My flash isn't coming on. Really yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well, doing well. Russell. We are at Betty's Hall. We're shooting Brigands. We're in Wales. It's Wales, isn't it, Russ? And today is mine and Russell's first day in the field. And we're super excited. Um, get down. Get down, I said. I'm wearing cream pants and he's just mucks them up. That's annoying. Anyway, um... Yeah, a bit of a different one today. I'm hoping to be able to vlog a bit of shooting this season. Uh, and today is definitely the day to do it. If you want to watch a bit of pheasant shooting, this is the ultimate place to come in every respect. The birds, the place, the scenery, the hospitality. Russell, don't do that. So yeah, I'm bringing you along. And I really hope you enjoy this video, guys. If you do, please do let me know because I'd love to um, vlog shoot days throughout the season. Not all of them will be like this. There'll be very vari a massive variety of days. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> Hornet's Nest, it's called. It's just 
just lying out all the guns down on pegs. Nice. Look left, Harrison. Get back. Dog in it. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I thought I'm going to shoot that fucking car. Inside out. Do what I did though. Let me go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Me and Russell have helped the pick rockers. We picked loads, didn't you, Ross? You deserve a champagne. First day out of the season. You've done really well. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they're just doing all the work, look at all the dogs. I love watching this, I love watching dogs work, picking all the pheasants, the teams behind the scenes as well as like the hospitality teams with us, it's just incredible. <laughs> It was cheapest at Melbourne at the time. Was it from their ambulance in Lytham, that mate? Drive to. really explained at the minute but um, at the start of the day when we all first meet the guns all pick out a peg uh, a number um, Sam picked out a number four so we started on peg four and then after your first drive you then move up to three so we've moved up to number seven now so we're now on peg seven so that's how that works we're now on the second drive which is called the Oaks and of course it's raining it never stopped raining in Wales. Russell's so excited. Can you wait to go and pick another bird up? Love it, don't you?
Yeah. Ross. <laughs> That's so annoying when you're here. Yeah. We're just stopping for 11s now and we're on a partridge and pheasant stir fry. Lovely. Hey guys, would you like a soup? Who can I have a soup? Yes, please. Cream and tomato? Cream and tomato, please. Would you like some champagne with it? Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Would you uh, like some food, madam? I'm all right, thank you. Are you sure? One. Yeah, looks lovely though. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Sweet chilli stir fry. Mm. Mm. Oh, is it partridge? Sweet chilli stir fry. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You can see it all moving while the people are in Absolutely. Oh, no, my surf. Okay. Thank you. My surf. Oh no! It's <laughs> alright, we'll fall on it. <laughs> Thanks. Russell! Yeah, I dropped it. Get up! Get back! We've had some muddy paws. Muddy paws, stay. No! Good hearing you now. What? Show us your little cat whiskers. <laughs> no, these ones. <laughs> oh, dear. That may be a bad person. No, not all. I think it makes you better. This is for the video first. Thank you. Video? Yeah. Oh, no. Everybody say cheers! Yeah. Yay. Yay. Come on! Oh, come, come on! Come on, yeah, come on this way, lads! Come on! Sorry, sorry! Put the wide lens on! Come on, get those back! Oh, <laughs> Fourth drive! Oh, my face is actually very wet. Um, it's called Welsh Haven, this one. So yeah, final drive. It's been such a good day. I actually shot on the last drive. Oh, can't believe I've shot at Brigands. And I got two birds. So, 
dead happy about that. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Complete flukes, but I still shot. Um, so yeah, having a great day. It's been great. Russ, are you excited? Are we on the lookout? Finding these birds? Tonight. Yeah, of course, milk and sugar or just milk. For good shooting, for good food, for good fellowship. Amen. 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 Cheers, Jim. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thank you to everyone that's made it and thanks for coming. And obviously, thanks to the winners for turning up and entering and buying tickets. It's what everyone around the table should be doing more often. Um, <laughs> so, but no, seriously, what a great day and what a great team. So, thanks everyone for coming and let's enjoy some supper. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. taking the dogs out for a walk so I thought now would be a good time to actually explain a bit about the day because I didn't really say much throughout the video it's hard to do it on the day and you're enjoying your day and I don't really know what I'm going to say anyway so I thought it'd be better for Sam to explain it because he's in that sort of field more than I am I just go for the day out basically so this is Sam Hiya. Sam is my boyfriend Hiya. this is his first official debut on the vlog so hi how do you feel i'm fine yeah are you excited oh yeah <laughs> buzzing. um buzzing so yeah i thought it'd be good for sam to explain a bit more about the day so people that are watching if you if you're not really familiar with the whole um shooting side of things then you'll get an idea of why we do it and all of that sort of thing so let's start off with the day why were we there what were we doing um, we went to Brigham's because we go every year at the start of the pheasant season, or I try to anyway, we have done for the last four years now, uh, like the 5th or 6th of October, because the pheasant season starts on the 1st of October, yeah. so it's like a really, really good way to start the season, and um, obviously through Tweedle, which is my business, which you will have seen when you did the video about the Kawasaki. Yes, I did. Um, you can basically win the chance to be on um, shooting states with us and obviously guns and cars and Kawasaki's and stuff like that. So, yeah. so there's a lot of winners on the day which had won the chance to be there for 10 quid. Um, which is like a massive, that's that's like a major thing. A shoot day like that, it's like the, the best sort of shoot day you can go on, isn't it? 
it's very very expensive very expensive to go on so Sorry. say like me i would not i would not pay to go on a day like that because i can't afford it um so for them to have actually won the chance to go there for a tenner is like a major major thing and they were all buzzing to be there weren't they yeah and then the rest of the team were like friends and family so my dad was there and yeah uh, yeah, it's just that it's the start of the season. It's the day that we take like the whole day, so everybody on the day is there because of us. Because of yeah, family which is friends. Really nice. Yeah, it makes it extra special, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah, that's the day, um, and then we're going to talk about the pheasant. So throughout the day, the hospitality there is, as you'll have seen in the video, is absolutely incredible, and a lot of what we shoot, we actually eat. So the elevenses we ate were partridge and pheasant. Um, the night before we had partridge and we had them pheasant goujons which I didn't show but they were my favourite bits they were so good weren't they? Oh yeah, southern fried pheasant Oh goujons. they were so nice Beauty. Um So that's really good as the shoot will actually use a lot of the birds themselves for the hospitality side of it um, When we leave the shoot you can choose to take a brace of birds home with you to cook which all the, gon all the, gun all the guns did and then they also give you a package like already what do you call it when they already it's already prepared oh yeah they did give you like um it's marinated uh partridge breast to take home which is just a nice touch yeah it's like a gift pack yeah so it's ready for you to just like chuck straight in the pan and eat which is really good you don't have to like pluck them or do all of that sort of stuff um but where does the rest of it go where does all the other pheasants go um so like each estate will have different outlets of getting rid of game um so, but you can obviously buy a lot of, a lot of the, the pheasants and the partridge and the, uh, not all ducks, but a lot of ducks in like Waitrose, booths, high-end supermarkets and butchers obviously are actually shot on shooting estates. Um, Cause you don't get like farmed pheasant or farmed partridge to, to be eaten. So a lot of that actually comes from shooting estates. Um, but again, like every estate will will get rid of it to different places. So I imagine the Betty's Hall group will get rid of them to pubs, restaurants, yeah, um, local butchers and stuff like that. Um, but also other bits of game that haven't like met the grade for human consumption will go for dog food and um, different different bits like that. And why won't they have met human consumption? standards if there's too much shot in the in the meat right if you will yep so if you've shot it full pattern and it's <laughs> i better not say that full of lead <laughs> yeah i think <laughs> for, for reference yeah i think evie's asked me to do this because she's worried about what some of you guys will think to all us going dressed up in tweed and enjoying the day shooting because yeah. it is a really good day out and uh you know recklessly killing pheasants but it's not like that <laughs> no it's not well it, it, it's very fun um and there's a reason we do it but um if you're trying to justify it to you but hopefully a lot of you viewers will be rural minded anyway and get it yeah i'm it is, pretty it's sure a, you will be it's a very grand tradition isn't it like we've done it for years yeah um all of my family shot my dad used to shoot all the time your dad shot forever hasn't he you yeah. shot ever since a young boy i've picked up and been beaten since a teenager and that sort of thing so it's just something that um we've grown up doing and it's just one of them traditions yeah, yeah. um i think as well like i know he gets a lot of american viewers and people from abroad so it'd be cool for you guys to see it because i know because it's the industry that I work in. The game shooting that you've seen on that video and um, we get to do in the UK isn't done anywhere else really in the world. Um, obviously, um, Americans are big hunters, but they don't get driven birds like that. So it's it's cool to show. Yeah. Um, and we are very privileged to be able to do it because yeah, we're very it's, lucky. It's in abundance around here, um, but it's just and still very much a a rich man's game not that i am one i'm just in the industry so we can we can do it that way yeah 
because uh, luxuries from it. Believe me, if I wasn't in the industry, I wouldn't be paying for that. No, it'd make you sick. It's very expensive. If you knew. <laughs> so, uh, when you were saying about the Americans and that, they have a lot of at Betis, they have a lot of um, people flying in to shoot there, don't they? Yeah. Um, because the day we is... left, there was uh, six Mexican clients came over. Really? Yeah. That's well cool. It'd be cool to see because, like Sam's just said, if, if it wasn't through Tweedle or through work, then we wouldn't be doing it, would we? How, how the other half live. Yeah, so it's mega to go and see it all and be hosted as if we are one. Uh. <laughs> anyway, is that everything? I think so. Yeah, I think we've covered everything. If you do have any questions about it, then please don't um, do feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll try and answer anything that I can. I hope you've really enjoyed this video because I definitely would like to vlog more of me going shooting this season because we've only just started. Shooting. Shoot, what did shooting. I say? Shooting. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's how I say it. <laughs> shooting. Um, so yeah, if you haven't done already, please do like and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. And if you want to win the chance to be on the next one. Oh yeah, that's another good point. Go on Tweedle, 10 quid a ticket. Tweedle.com, I'll leave it in the corner and I'll leave the link below. Check it out. See you on the next one guys, see bye. You later.